Oh, wow, finally it came in. This is looking pretty cool. Yeah. I like what I'm seeing here. Oh no, it's it's not what it looks like. Well, maybe a little bit. Look what I got for you, it's your favorite. Oh, oh us? <laughs> We're fine. We're fine, right? Might take some time. Oh, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This is MP Slocker Space. I'm Massimo. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a different a different slocker set. I'm sorry. So what do we got here? Well, as you can tell, it's a Polycar set. Now why did I go out and get myself one of these sets? Well I was curious. And yes, curiosity does sometimes kill the cat. I'm sorry, just just relax and bear with me. Never tell him to relax. But yes, I was curious, and as you all know, Dave Kennedy runs this system and has nothing but good things to say about it. And anything I've read about it, anyone I've spoken to that has this system has all said positive things about it. So I was curious for myself to try out this system. And I also thought it was a good idea to try it out for the channel. For anyone out there that's looking to get into the hobby, that may not have a track system yet, this is another alternative for you. So you can see exactly what you get in the starter set. And yeah, we'll go through the box art together, we'll unbox it together, we'll assemble it, test it out, and I'll give you my honest opinion on what I think about this set. So, let's get into it. So a little change of scenery, we're on the other side of the basement right now, away from the Carrera track where she can't yell at me no more while we unbox this Polycar set. So let's go through the box art together, unbox it, see exactly what you get inside this thing if you were to get one of these sets, and we'll set it up. Let's get to it. So before we dive into this thing, let's take a quick look at the box. And I have to say, I really like the box art. It's very colorful with the city in the background there, all the city lights. Very cool, very nice. You got your two Subaru BRZs in the front here just drifting away. Some pictures of the Subarus with decals on them, which the decals are included. You got your websites there, polycar.it, slot.it. Try me. Oh yeah, that's grippy. High grip surface. It is a 132nd scale set, working front lights, compatible with Ninko, Polistil, and I'm not gonna even try butchering that last one. Up to eight lanes circuit extension, very cool. Adjustable power supply to suit your skills and braking function. On the side here, you got some four in one in this box, so an easy, medium, and two hard layouts. And here's a picture of them on the back again with what you get in the set. We'll go through that when we open it up. And some more information in the back here that you guys can read. And again, the working front lights and all that stuff we saw in the front. On this side, it gives you some ideas for extensions that you can buy. Very cool. So that leaves us with opening this thing. So let's get it open and assemble it. So let's go through the contents here. Here are your straights. And you get four standard straights. Here are two thumb controllers with, uh, I guess, a turbo boost here. Here are all your corners. You get two, four, six, 12 in total. Nice instruction manual. Instructions are always important. Good to have. Here's a decal sheet for your cars and some numbers you can put on them. Very nice. Here's the power base. And the other half straight here. is the adjustable power supply right there you can see it's adjustable so you can put it from what is that five volts 
right there, all the way up to 13.5 volts. Oh yeah, see? Look at that. Polo car gives you some spare tires, guides, and brushes. Very nice. I like the fact that they give you some spare tires. Very cool. These are the track clips to hold it all together. This is the key to adjust the power supply. And all that's left is the two Subaru BRGs. So let's open these up and take a nice look at them. So here's the first one, the red Subaru. You got two drivers in there. Very nice. Nice paint job on it. Decent detail. These are not crazy. I believe these are more for uh, beginners. Tire has a bit of a gash in it, but no big deal. We have the magnet there. We'll open one of these up to take a look inside. But yeah, this is like a very Carrera style braid setup. Cool. One thing I like about these, the mirrors, they're like a rubber material and they just, they flex a lot, which is why this is good for beginners to bash around because these are not gonna break off. There's really nothing that can break off on this thing. There's no wing that can come off, no spoiler. Really nothing that you can break on these cars. They can just be bashed around. So I'm excited to try these things out. So here is your standard Policar straight. Here is a Carrera standard straight. And you can see the Policar track is a little bit narrower and also a tad longer. There it is one on top of the other. So it's a little bit wider the Carrera track. But this is about, I believe, the middle grade in between Carrera and Scale Electric, this being the middle size, which gives you a little bit of extra room to play with when assembling one of these on the table. Now let's compare the grip levels in my uh, very technical test here. Here's a Policar Monoposto. Slid off. Let's try it on the Policar track. See if I get the same results. Uh, uh, it's going a little bit further, look at that. I had to get it completely vertical for it to fall. On the Carrera track. Like that, fell off. Very scientific, I know. Before we continue with the track build here, I want to quickly show you how easy this track goes together. Just push them in like that, and it's in pretty tight. You actually have to pull pretty hard to get it apart. So you almost don't need those track clips. If you are keeping it set up, yeah, I'd put them in. They slide in right there, but you don't really need them, in my opinion. Let's continue with the build. So here it is all assembled, very easy, very quick to put it together. I'm gonna adjust the power supply before we plug it in and I'm gonna bring it down to a nine volt. Right there, it has a nice click when you change it. Very cool. Let's plug this thing in and give these cars a try. So let's give these Subaru BRZs a try and this Policar track its first try. And we'll start with the blue BRZ and as you see when you power on, the uh, lights do come on. Let's go around here and remember, this is at pretty much half power right now. And I'm full throttle. So, at half throttle, I believe, this, if you're gonna st start with the starter set, there's no point putting full power because you will come out of the slots. Like this, at least you can get a good feel for the system and yeah. There we go. It helps if you plug in the controller. Oh yeah. It just hops. Really be careful in the corners. A lot more feathering on the inside, that's for sure. 
you go full throttle, I'll do this lap full throttle. There you go. <laughs> Open up one of these Subarus. It's four screws holding it together. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. There's the inside. That's your a light bar there. And the back here looks very much like a slot at Policar. Exactly what you would expect. Very nice. You got the guide up here, as you can see. Very tidy, very basic. Nothing crazy going on in there. So one thing I want to show you with these uh, magnets, at least, they're very easy to remove. Just these two screws, you loosen them up, you could pop out this whole magnet assembly without actually opening up the chassis, which is nice. But you can also adjust the height. See those two springs in there? It's spring loaded. So you can adjust how high or low you want your magnet set. So you can put it a little bit lower by loosening these screws so it's a little bit closer to the rail and gives you a little bit more grip, which I already did to the blue one and it helped with the handling on the inside lane. So let's give these a try again, do a couple of laps and I'll give you my final take on this set. So what are my final thoughts on this Polycar drift set? Well, I have to give it two thumbs up. It's an amazing system and I'm very happy with it. The track surface is very grippy. As I showed you in my very scientific experiment earlier on, it's a very grippy surface. The cars themselves, they're very durable, a very good beginner car and they drive very nice. Not much I can say about the controllers. It's your typical thumb controller, pretty much like a Carrera. You have this boost button here, which I couldn't really utilize on the nine volts with these cars, but you have enough full power, you hit that, the cars will launch off the track into the next room. But utilize this properly and you'll get a nice boost of power. Nice touch if you want to pass the person on the inside or outside lane. The set itself, I think it's awesome that you can have four configurations with the one set, depending on the level you're at. If it were me buying this, I'd probably get a few extension pieces just to start out with, just to make it a little bit longer, but this is the perfect size for you to start out with, get a feel for it and see what kind of track you want to build. This is the hardest layout that you can make from the set. So the one negative I can say about the system is that it didn't come with any shoulders or guardrails. And that's not really that big of a deal, but it would have been nice to have a few shoulders or guardrails thrown in the set just to have for the corners. But other than that, it's a perfect set and I can't really complain. Perfect for any beginner out there or enthusiast. It's a great track system. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. This has been MP Slot Car Space. I'm Massimo and I will catch you all very soon. I have some making up to do to my Carrera system. Catch you soon.